welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the month again, and it's not the yucky kind. So let's talk about my January favorites. So today I'm going to talk about what's on my face right now. I only have a couple things to show you. First things are my brows. I have been loving, loving this brow product. I don't know why I never bought it. I've seen it a couple times and I just never grabbed it because I was so scared to try it out. But it's the NYX Eyebrow Gel. This is in Brunette or 03. I used this with my Royal Langnickel brush in... This is the Angled Brow brush in BE10 so that's how it looks like I got this from INETS like a couple years ago but anyways I only use a little little tiny bit and it dries super fast and it also sets your brows all at the same time I just picked brunette just because I thought that I'm growing out my hair and I'm gonna try and be brown haired for a really long time because I have some you know cosplays that I need to do but they're all have you know they're all gonna have a brown hair based character so yeah that's why I'm going for the darker brows but this is really good it's waterproof sweat proof you know smudge proof it's only gonna come off if you use your makeup remover wipes or your you know cleansing oil but this is very inexpensive I believe it was only $5.99 at Ulta and then you get those discounts if you buy you know more than ten dollars and you get 350 off so it's an even bigger deal but i really 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 highly recommend this this is very comparable to the makeup forever aqua brows so without the price tag i've probably been living under rock for so long that i just never paid attention to these brushes i knew that they existed i've seen them almost everywhere these are the real techniques brushes from sam and nick chapman also known as pixie will here on youtube these brushes have been everywhere. I have just like not bought them because the reason that I didn't buy them is that I've always had my Sigma brushes with me since like what 2010 when I first started my channel. So I never really needed any more brushes. That's a lot. Everybody needs more brushes because we just go through them like crazy. But I love them. They're super soft. They're also, you know, synthetic. They do not shed. They have not shed with me, you know, washing them constantly. And they're still, still super soft. I love them so much. I know they came out with like a newer, like higher end line, like their premium sets. But those are like, oh my god, I can't wait to get my hands on them. So next thing I'm going to talk about is what on my lips today. This is the Jouer Lip Gloss in Rose Glisten. Now I have had this for a really long time now, maybe a year. But they're still good because I lost this and I found it again this month when I was like going through my makeup collection. I love how it's also pink and also in a bit like of a rosy tone. I guess that's what they're going for. And it has, it has a little bit of sparkle in it which is not too chunky at all. Once it's on your lips, it's just like a nice shimmer and it looks natural also. So I really, really like that. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a hair product which I... I rarely talk about in this channel, which I should because I also love, you know, hair products almost equally as I love makeup products. But this is from Big Sexy Hair. This is their root pump. I've had this for a while now and I'm I'm so happy that it's still working. You have to shake this. It has like the spray. What you do with this is that you put this on the roots of your hair when your hair is still damp. But I like using this also when my hair is like... You know flat and dry so I put this in the roots as well and it gives it a little bit of texture so it makes your hair look like you know you didn't do anything to it but it has a ton of volume look <laughs> gives my hair a ton a ton of volume because my hair is super flat without any of these products but this one just gives it the extra you know like the extra oomph last thing I'm gonna talk about is probably something oops my hair <laughs> The last thing I'm going to talk about is an eyeshadow primer from Milani. I don't know if I've mentioned this in favorites video. If I did, it's probably because I just really, really love it. This is a new, a newer two because these are just great. This is in 01 New. This is their eyeshadow primer base. And what you do is that you apply this like a regular eyeshadow primer. Let it sit for 30 seconds. That's what it says in the back. But I find that if you just blend it out really, really well and the time it takes you to go grab your eyeshadow and apply it, it dries. So it helps your eyeshadow look more vibrant. It helps it last all day. I also think that it's great because it's also very inexpensive. I believe it's between $5 to $6 depending on where you get them. So that's it for my January favorites. It's not a lot because I'm still, you know, using some of the products that I've been using last month. These are just the things that I'm constantly like, oh my god, I need to use that today or, you know, 
like things I'm really gravitating towards. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or things you want me to review, whether it's makeup, tech, or anything like that, let me know also in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.